Okay, hello, Tyler Brighton here. Hope everything's going well. What are we looking at here, Tesla? Markets closed down 8.78% on the day. Let me see if we're to look a little closer. This stock on Finviz Just didn't stop my wife from having some interest in it. I can tell you that. She loves when there's volatility down uh, eight. What a ride that's on. Performance week down 13%, month down five. Kathy Woods pumped quarter 14%. Per half year, 27 year, 17 year to date, 12.135. So what happened? We got the Tesla Robo Taxi unveiled here. Tesla Robot, the Cybercab, there's the Robo Van, there's the Optimus Robot. A lot going on here. I've seen a couple of clips. I haven't even seen much of this. I'm going to watch it, see if there's any reactions or anything interesting, and then do a little breakdown. But from the assessment that I've seen so far, the old Bloomberg and the Bloomberg boy, the main problem was light on details and some very ambitious things coming out here that hey say maybe 2027 but is that really possible a bunch of problems with legislation around how many of these they can sell are these things even going to be accepted into the public considering all the risks and everything and so again amazing vision i think some really cool stuff i saw the whole west world thing going down but is this actually feasible and based on the sell-off today it's not like it's hit a big peak and they're selling off. It seems like there may be some concerns. Tesla, we robot event, everything revealed in eight minutes. Here's Elon, cowboy. for making this little mix here. Here's him coming out. The bike's right on the back of the screen. Elon. Let's be so stressful for this. Welcome. Welcome to the Wii Robot Party. <laughs> We're, we have quite a show for you tonight. I think, uh, I think you're going to like it. Uh, looks healthy. looks young. As you can see, I just uh, arrived in the RoboTaxi, the CyberCab. And there's uh, 20 more where that came from. So they've been, they're all, there's no people in them, as you can see. The car's mm -hmm. just going by with no people. You must be so scary. We have 50 fully autonomous cars here tonight. So you'll see Model Ys and the Cyber Cab, Smash. all <laughs> driverless. You'll be able to take a ride in the Cyber Cab. There's no steering wheel or pedals. I know there's a lot of criticism about the, the feasibility of this, but it's still mind blowing what Elon's doing, what they're doing here at Tesla. It's actually insane. And I'm not even looking at the Optimus yet. I'm getting a little goosebumps because I just think it's no matter the long run success and all this, it's pretty cool to have people pushing these kind of things, pushing these types of things in the world. It makes me excited and inspired. And I love the work that went into the actual. So I hope this goes well. I think the, the cost of autonomous transport will be so low that you can think of it like individualized mass transit. If the average cost of a bus per mile for a city, the average price is about a dollar a mile. Whereas the cost of CyberCab is probably going to be around 20 cents a mile. Mm -hmm. And price, including taxes and everything else, probably ends up being 30 or 40 cents a mile. Yes, and you will be able to buy one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> and we, we expect the cost to be below $30,000. Yeah. So. Some of the critique that I saw is that, you know, they're, they're looking for just a normal version of a car at a lower price point, and then all these new things are being promised. And I guess one of the other things that we see here is the big question around them. Is, is it a car company or is it a technology company? And the multiples that come with a car company 
are much lower than what you get with the tech company here. And we've seen basically, well, let's go year to date, companies really struggling, especially cars this year, part of it by China, just a lot of tough battles for vehicle companies. And so Tesla fit into that bucket or do they escape out with all this new technology and obviously Optimus, the robot and everything here hopes to have that. And there's obviously some more ambition sort of just pulling this up. I saw that they were hit pretty hard today and that's seeming to be pretty consistent across the market. Yeah, look at that drop. I think Elon and them have always had them at Tesla, by, by them I mean Tesla, has always pushed the technology angle and so I understand why valid arguments can be made for that angle versus a traditional car company and then you've literally got this Optimus robot that isn't even a vehicle. Just, so. To start, fully autonomous, uh, unsupervised FSD in Texas and California next year. <laughs> he looks a little more stressed here, I think that just this would be so stressful. And then we expect to be in production with the, the CyberCab, which is hi highly optimized for autonomous transport in probably, I tend to be a little optimistic with time frames. Probably. And then the uh, truthfulness about the optimism, at least. But before 2027, let me put it that way. <laughs> when you get in, you'll see it's really quite a wild experience to just be in a car with no steering wheel, no pedals, no controls. And it feels great. Waymo is riding around in San Fran right now. So I'm starting to even see some friends who've gone to San Fran and had that experience, which I know is super cool. So it's not like this is completely unfeasible in that sense. And Tesla has a huge advantage with the compute that they have and the data they've collected over all these years of semi-autonomous driving. Something we're also doing is, and it's really high time we did this, is inductive charging. The Robotaxi has no plug. It, it just uh, goes over the inductive charger and oh. charges. Oh, and also, what happens if you need a vehicle that is bigger than a Model Y? The Reboven is, uh, we're, we're going to make this, and it's going to look like that. Now, can you imagine going down the streets and you see this coming towards you? That'd be sick! <laughs> So this, can, this can carry up to 20 people and it can also uh, transport goods. So you can oh. configure good for Much goods transport within a city more. or transport of up to 20 people at a time. You can use the Robovan. Some people call it the Robovan, but speaking of robots... So everything we've developed for our cars, the batteries, power electronics, the advanced motors, gearboxes, the, the software, the, the AI inference computer, it all actually applies to a humanoid robot. It's the same techniques. It's just a robot with arms and legs instead of a robot with wheels. And uh, we've made a lot of progress no. with the uh, Optimus. And uh, as you can see, they look sweet. The event was called We Robot. I've seen videos all, all today. This is what I saw, the drink, the drinks. Yes, this video was pretty sweet. I saw some happy birthday singing and then some questions answered from the Optimus itself. Pretty sweet, I like the voice that they chose. I'm sure the voice can be programmable and I think it's probably gonna show in this video pretty soon here, but yeah, 20,000 to 30,000 bucks fully autonomous and can do really what you want it to. And he said, hey, I think this will be the biggest product ever of any kind. So confidence there, let's see. You see, we started up with someone in a robot suit and then we've progressed dramatically year after year. So if you extrapolate this, you're really gonna have something spectacular, something that anyone could own. So you can have your own personal R2D2 C3PO. And I think at scale, the, this would cost something like, I don't know, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. Probably less, less than a car is my prediction long term. Take us a minute to get to the long term, but, but fundamentally at scale, uh, the Optimus robot, you should be able to, to buy an Optimus robot, probably twenty dollars to $30,000 long term. And what can it do? It can, it'll be able to do anything you want. So it can be a teacher, babysit your kids, it can walk your dog, mow your lawn, get the groceries, just be your friend, serve drinks. 
whatever you can think of. It will do. And yeah, it's going to be awesome. And I, I, I think this will be the biggest product ever of any kind. Whoa, what a big final statement from Elon there. And if you saw my video from yesterday, you know that I'm in the same sweater. And I apologize about that. But I'm a little embarrassed. But again, at least the market didn't like that too much. We took a look at this and there had been some downgrades. Really? reading up but then there's some outperforms nothing recently and the other piece that was interesting apparently and i'm just looking at this now uber stock almost the polar opposite of what we saw here with tesla so up 8.42 percent man what a year they've had if we look back comparatively to where i just was down 12 percent versus up 40 percent per year 85 percent so huge jump for uber here compared to um you know what we're seeing with Tesla. Kathy Wood, how you feeling? Ark, how you feeling? I'll just shut up for a sec. I not shut up, I'm talking still, but I, I got an inf affinity towards this. Obviously, I, I pulled the iRobot up on the screen and there's some creepy perspective of this. There was this recent meta video where they were doing facial recognition and pulling information from the glasses and then pulling information really quickly. So I think there's a ton of concerns and so many goddamn things that can go wrong here. But at the same time, it's a, a very fascinating future that we're heading towards. And I'm excited to follow this. My wife's reaction was, you know what? They're down. I'm going to buy some stock. And I know there's a lot of people doing the opposite of that right now, um, but I'm very curious to see how this all turns up. And on a long time horizon, if they can keep this business going and chugging along, some of these things are going to come to fruition, at least in some shape or, or manner. And I think with that, there is a lot of room for explosive catalyst of growth that maybe a lot of people don't foresee and there's been some wild rides with tesla through lifetime look at that ramp up and then a lot of money made and then a lot of money lost a lot of money made lost money and if you were in it for the real long ride, you've done very well and have a lot of faith and love for Elon. I'm excited to follow this along. Super cool event. I love the Westworld vibes of it all. I saw it was even on the screen in the Tesla there, and I thought this was a super fun event. And maybe a little sparse on details, but not sparse on imagination and technical innovation, which Elon's obviously got a history of, and Tesla obviously has some incredible engineers and people working on that team. So look forward to seeing more from them, hopefully some of those optimistic timelines come true. Thanks so much for checking this out. Bye-bye.